Okay, hi Arnav, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, ma'am. Ma'am, how are you? I'm good too. All right, so would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, so my name is Arnav Jindal and I'm studying in ninth grade in Pathways World School. And my hobbies are playing violin and I also sometimes write poetry. And like I have been working on my book for like a short period of time and then I got it published through my Braille books. All right. And nowadays I have been I have been working on different writing skills, like in, making the things more engaging and inspirational. So the name of your book, The Road to Emerging Powers, what what is it about? So basically, I I chose this name because uh, like it definitely connects to how the book is progressing. So the book's main motive is to show like it's it's like based on the perspective of different people. Some people think that the book is a fictional book, but some people think that it also has a moral, which is how surroundings change a person's behavior. So this book shows how like surroundings of a person can change how a person emerges with his powers. And like this is how I put the root to emerging powers. So yes, I, I kind of read your book and I like, you know, how interestingly you have named or, you know, the titles of the chapters. So how did the idea of, you know, all of those chapters come to your mind? Uh, so basically, uh, I like reading fictional books a lot and I have been reading books of Rick Riordan and all. And then the things I see in most of the books is that they miss a title. Most of the books, they just have a chapter number or they just have the like a single word title. So I tried making the titles more engaging and like for the like the reader to read it more, like the using the titles. Correct. So is this your first book that you have written? Yes. Yes. And how was your writing experience? Um, my writing experience was overall good. I had I faced some like major challenges like connecting the storyline. So basically, it's very hard. Like people have like the basic story in their mind, but at the end they have to connect everything. And like while writing the book, it's not the basic story which you have to write. You have to write like some connectors and like you have to connect the story over overall. So like that's a challenging part. So, I mean, because it's a story about, you know, kind of empowerment and the character development and, you know, how the person or the main lead or the protagonist of the story, you know, goes through a lot of changes in his life. So, I mean, how did the idea of this book actually come to you? I mean, what 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 inspired you to write this book? So, like, uh, there were three things which inspired me to write this book. Firstly... Uh, reading all the other fictional books, it gave me the idea that I'll also write a fictional book someday. Second was a question, what if? So like I focused on the question, what if this happens to the person? And then I continued writing my book. And along the way, I got the hang of the story and how the story was progressing. So my basic story was not the, not exactly the thing I wrote, but like as I like progressed, asking myself, what if the boy goes through this? The, that way I continued writing my story. And the third main thing which like inspired me was my personal experiences of how like all the other fictional books, like when I read them, I feel what is missing in them. And like what I need to be, uh, what I need that it has to be there in a book. So you have told us that, you know, you like to read a lot of fictional books. Like what, if, if you were to name, let's say, your top three books that you love to read, what would they be? I think my top three books will be, uh, like, in the third place, I would put the Percy Jackson part, fifth, which was, like, really engaging only uh, because how the, like, many characters were added and, like, some new characters were introduced. And, like, the second one would be Trials of Apollo. Uh, though I put it in the second and not in the first because like it might get like sometimes boring at times and also the first one is Heroes of Olympus which is like a lengthy book but really interesting. 
that's great and did you ever you know before you were introduced to brie books did you ever think of becoming an author a published author or did you ever think of writing a book of your own no uh, the time when i came to know about brie books it was like 2 to 3 years ago and i started writing a book but i couldn't at that time i couldn't complete it so this time i tried putting my all and then i wrote this book so like i i had no idea of becoming the author before i was introduced to by by books so it was kind of an entire journey for you you know from getting to, yes. to write a book and everything so i mean you you faced your challenges you have overcome those challenges you have now become a published author so how does this experience you know feel it's uh, like uh, i i had put a lot of effort in writing this book and i feel that the effort i put it was valuable and it was shining in the end and if you were to you know give some kind of an advice to other aspiring authors or if there's you know just one tip that could help them write a better book what would that be from your end mom the a tip which i would like to give to all the aspiring authors is that when you're writing a book it's not about you making it perfect it's about like writing what you think you should write and then it's there's always a time when you have to read your book after a few time after like a few days or a few weeks you should read your book again where when you have like forgotten all the like main components after that time you should read the book yourself and see if it's engaging for you and if it's engaging for you then most of the people will like it also so the key is to just not write and forget about it and just keep continuing you'll always have to go back and review your book so that yes you know, the continuity is maintained basically yes ma'am correct also i mean do you still wish to write more books and do you see yourself yes i i am planning to write a sequel and all all right. this book i wrote and uh, what is like the favorite chapter from this book i feel the favorite chapters are the uh, two chapters where like i think they are the sixth and the seventh where the boys learning how to harness the powers it's like really engaging for me and and if you were to define your book to the readers if you were to give like a synopsis or a brief about your book for the readers to understand what the book is actually about and how you know what what would were they supposed to expect out of it what would that be i mean if i am a reader and you want me to read it how would you explain your book so basically this book is about an orphan who is not accepted with his friends and all but suddenly some day when he is out for camp he is he, he he like blacks out and like everything goes black and then he sees how he is like witnessing different worlds and like going to the terrors and seeing the heavens and also at the end he lands at a place at an island which is like stranded only two people live there and uh, with the support of those two people he has to overcome the challenge of the biggest uh, villains of the book like the three biggest villains and like this book is focusing on the first villain and then there will be sequels which will be focusing on the other two correct are there any you know your favorite authors as well i think my favorite author is rick riordan and the reason for that being uh with that being uh, the books i have read it's all about greek gods and mythology and like i feel that reading those it's like really it just takes you into a utopia where you can like witness the things which happened in the past and what genres do you like to read the most i like reading genres which are like adventurous but i also like reading books which are more of like based on true events like the diary of a young girl and it that's great and you know you're after the sequel of this book would you also try to kind of explore other genres while writing a different book maybe in yes ma'am i i i'm thinking of writing a book which like aligns with my own hobbies and all which is not fictional but it aligns with my hobbies and all 
I plan writing it like after this book. That's great. That's great. And uh, as you said that, you know, you faced some major challenges while, you know, connecting the dots and making the story complete. So how did you overcome all of those challenges? Also, because I understand that book writing is not just a simple, you know, it's not a simple thing to do. You have to do a lot of research. You have to put in a lot of ideas. You have to actually think of a storyline. Then, you know, all of the chapters that you've written and everything else. So... I mean, did you, there was, was there somebody who was guiding you through the process or was it just you trying to, you know, figure out what, what is right and what's not? It was just me trying to figure out what to do in the end. And like, I was just writing it, thinking that I have to write it. And that way I was getting motivated. Like I have to write it and I have to finish it before the deadline. So that way I just kept writing it. And like, I kept overcoming the challenges. So you kind of gave yourself a challenge to complete the book and then you kind of... Yes, ma'am. That's great. That's great. Is there anything else that, you know, you would want to share with us? Something kind of an expert or some, some anything about your book or your journey or your experience as a published author or anything of that sort? I think like the after writing the book, selling the book is also a main part. Like you have to advertise it you have to put it as a brochure on places and like so that the people buy it so like it's also like a really important challenge to overcome but like for me this challenge I had my parents supporting me correct so you know becoming an author is not just about writing a book it's also about you know the entire process of uh, kind of you know marketing it and then promoting it yes, in different ma'am. areas yes so uh, apart from your parents have your friends also or you know your relatives have also helped and supported you in there uh, yes from like my friends and my relatives and also my parents friends have helped in advertising at all a lot and you have used uh, social media and uh, yes i put i put like bro- brochures of the book and all that's really really creative of you all right, Anna, yes. it was great speaking with you. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, ma'am.